when we have the talent advantage and there is this level on the line of, of like stakes that we do look like we're just going to punch Honduras in the mouth and then see it out in the right way. Yeah. I mean, it, it's difficult to, to, to pinpoint one thing. And I think there's a lot of different, uh, of things that go into it. You can look at the roster and you can look at these different things, but I think ultimately if you if you line each player up player and skill for skill, typically, at least with my group, and I know with the, with the group four, three years later and this group, that, that's kind of how it goes up, but there's this uh, dark arts <laughs> as we've been kind of <laughs> you know, told. That CONCACAF is just a different beast, and um, at times, I think some of some of the, the different cultures are a little bit savvier in terms of when to speed a game up, when to start killing it off, when to kind of take an injury, when, you know, they're going to a new water break, all these different things. And you can look at, you know, a lot of individual moments. And it's just difficult because, again, we, we look at, uh, you know, playing at, um, like I said, in Los Angeles, we have beautiful fields. It's, you know, 70 degrees. It's, it's incredible. Refs are calling all these different fouls, but it's almost like, the game is too easy at times for players. So when it gets difficult and we, when we get in moments, players don't necessarily know how to react. It's a fight or flight, right? When you get into a moment when you're getting kicked or when you're getting grabbed on corner kicks, how do you react? And, and the development Academy was amazing and for so many different ways, but at times I find that we have too many luxuries in American soccer. Personally, we have, we have so many amazing facilities, so many amazing fields, you know, our trainers and all these things are step above other countries, but at times we miss that gritty, you know, kind of no rules aspect of the game that make a lot of countries amazing in terms of, you know, we talk about youth players in Brazil, they're playing on the streets. We're playing on manicured turf fields and you know then suddenly we get a, t- a tough field against trinidad and tobago and we look and we're like oh my goodness the ball bounced up when i was going to shoot and everyone's like well that well that's just the game and i think at times we need to develop that aspect and how we do it i have no clue i'm sorry mm. gentlemen I have no <laughs> clue. but like i said i think at times it's just you know we have the quality we have these different things it's just when it comes down to those tough moments i think other countries are better prepared to like batten the shields and, and do what they got to do and grit and grind and ugly and pull and tear and foul and get yellow cards. And at times we might be a little bit, we don't, I don't think at times we have that enough. And I wish my group had that in both those cycles. And I'm, you know, I think at times that's what we miss a little bit. So what we need then, what you're saying is we need some grizzled veteran MLS fullbacks to go out there and kick some kids this uh, this season. Yeah, <laughs> not me. Someone no. else. <laughs> someone someone else will do that. No, I don't think any refs are listening to this. So you'll probably be in the clear. Please, for, please for don't tell Marufo, or else he's gonna have a red card. Right <laughs> Oh man, Zarek, I, I appreciate you coming in and, and giving your perspective on this. It is uh, extraordinarily, extraordinarily valuable to hear from someone who has has been there and uh, been in the same position. I'm, I'm sad to say, as, as these kids tonight. Uh, I, I want to thank you. I want to thank uh, uh, Jamie Watson for coming on as well, and I want to thank uh, my good friend Joe Lowry for for helping me into this at the start and uh, you know follow his work uh, on Total Soccer Show and on Twitter and uh, and I of course want to thank my partner Andrew Weeby uh, who got on to rake some leaves and talk some soccer. You can listen to me and Weeby and Gasman uh, and Kalen Carr. Shout out Kalen, I see you in the listeners out there uh, tomorrow on Extra Time. You download that anywhere you get your podcasts and go to mlssoccer.com for complete coverage. Thank you all for listening. I'm sorry it was an angry show instead of a happy show uh but you know it's the start of another cycle yet again